Have you guys ever thought about why you choose one motorcycle over another? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be going over why I chose the Road Glide Special over the Street Glide this time, so stick around. Hey everyone, this is Ty and welcome to the channel. So today I am out riding on my new 2023 Road Glide Special. This one's actually one of the 120th anniversary editions. Really love the paint on this one. And so we're just gonna talk about why I chose this time around, why I chose the Road Glide over the Street Glide. So let me just start by saying this. I have nothing against the Street Glide. If you ride a Street Glide, that's great. I rode a Street Glide for years. Um, before I was on this bike, I was riding a 2021 Street Glide CVO. Color of that one was bronze armor. Loved that motorcycle. Great bike. And before that, I had a 2020 Street Glide. And that one was the Tahitian teal color. I don't know if you guys remember that one. You talk about a, a paint color that whew, I love, man. That one was sharp. So I do have experience with both motorcycles before we get into this too far. Now what really got me eyeballing the Road Glide is a couple of different things, but mainly it's when I bought my first fixed fairing motorcycle, bought the uh, Lowrider ST. So I bought that bike, uh, I guess we're going on maybe eight months ago, nine months ago, something like that. And I just realized, man, this fairing is awesome. It accomplishes everything that everyone has always said. I wonder if the Road Glide is that way too. And beyond that, you know, just about all of my buddies that I ride with own Road Glides uh, in some form or fashion. And you know, you just see them out on the road. At first, I wasn't too crazy about them, but then the more I saw them, demoed them, you know, was around them, I was like, yeah, you know what? They are really starting to grow on me. And now, I'm probably like many of you guys, went from Street Glide to Road Glide, and there's no going back now. So let's get into the specifics of why, I mean, that's kind of a general broad information as far as why I chose the Road Glide, but let's get into some specifics specific information about why I love this motorcycle so very much. Well, the very first thing that I can think of, to be perfectly honest with you, is the paint on this motorcycle. I mean, wow, I thought it was so sharp. I know there's a lot of people that don't like it, but man, I sure do. And uh, when I was at White Lightning and I was watching the 120th anniversary release of the new motorcycles, and when they flashed those up on the screen, I was like, man, if I'm gonna get a road glide, it's gonna be that road glide. It's gonna be with that paint. And I'm glad I pulled the trigger. I think it was a I think it was a good choice. I'm very happy with it. I love the way the motorcycle looks. The paint just pops in the sunlight, man. It just, I'm serious, it just shines. It looks beautiful. I kind of hinted about this a little bit, but uh, next up it would have to be the fairing. You know, the fairing on the Road Glide is something I just mentioned. It took took me a, a little bit kind of to grow on me. But once you get behind this fairing on the motorcycle, man, uh, the wind deflection is just incredible. Just like the Lowrider ST. The wind deflection is just awesome. And then on top of that, I mean, it's huge, right? Compared to the Street Glide, it feels humongous. And um, it's something that's really different. The Street Glide just kind of tends to have everything right there in front of you. I like kind of the, the idea of having more room on the fairing. You know, I enjoy that. It feels a little, feels a little more roomy. Might sound weird, but, but it does. And then you add in the extra storage space on the Road Glide fairing. Like I can put some GoPro stuff over here, my phone over here, you know, that type of thing, hook it into the radio. Just a lot of extra added value. Well, as we continue our list here, I do have to run a quick little errand. I need to get a haircut. I'm gonna sneak past, turn in here. So where I'm turning in, this is called Cambridge Square here in Ottawa, Tennessee. That bar right there to my left, Hoptown Beer Bar. Yeah, man, they always got it going on over there.
right, all finished. Got the haircut all cleaned up, looking good for vacation that I've got coming up. So yeah, if you guys are ever in the area, go to Cambridge Square and see Dana. She's, she's the best. All right, so let's head back over to the Bach and uh, let's uh, continue our discussion. Street Glide and Road Glide, see what's up. All right, next up on the list is something that might sound silly to some of you guys, but it's pretty important to me. And that's Apple CarPlay. On my Street Glide, the previous one, the Tahitian Till I was telling you guys about, man, Apple CarPlay worked flawlessly from the first day I bought it. I always struggled with Apple CarPlay on that CVO. And I know why it's got a whim and there's just a, a different procedure that you have to go through, a different order to, to get Apple CarPlay working. And I was tired of fighting that battle, you know, but I just never could get it working again to my satisfaction. But when I got this one, man, I bought that little jumper, plugged it in. I mean, it literally took 30 seconds to install that thing. And now Apple CarPlay works flawlessly and I love it. I just think it's worth every penny. It's uh, again, big time added value. And then uh, last would have to be this, you know, I've got a problem. I trade in my motorcycles way too often, way too often. And with this bike, I wanted something that I was going to be able to hang on to for, you know, four to five years. So I've got my Lowrider ST. That bike is not going anywhere. And I wanted something comparable to that. You know, something that I'm really going to fall in love with, that I want to hang on to for the long term. And so I do. I want to, I want to hang on to this bike for five-ish years you know maybe maybe longer i don't know i don't know what to say longer than that but definitely five years i want to hang on to it uh just like my lowrider st and so those were some of the reasons why i wanted to try out the road glide over the street glide this time well i know this list is subjective from person to person so let's do this if you ride a street glide Tell me why you like the Street Glide over the Road Glide. And if you ride a Road Glide in the comments below, tell me why you like the Road Glide over the Street Glide. Let's just, I know this is a, a, you know an age old discussion, but uh, it might be something new and interesting in the comment section. Let's see what we come up with. Well, thank you guys very much for joining me today. I most certainly appreciate your time. If you would, hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already subscribed. I'll tell you what, I hope you guys have an excellent day. And we'll talk to you again soon.